Eli Harold, we had some fun watching you work with Charles Haley uh, at the end of practice. What was that like getting that tips from, you, you mentioned a VA legend? It's always great, you know, first and foremost, working with a guy who's from my area, you know what I'm saying, who's, who's in my eyes, the greatest of all time, man. Obviously, he has a gold jacket, but just understanding how smart he is and picking his brain, and he played so long ago, but the things he's saying translate to the game that's played today, man, how his mind adapt and telling me how to use my weight against the offensive lineman and how to use his weight against him, man. It's awesome, you know, learning from one of the greats. Yeah, it's great that he's out here watching you guys and giving you tips, but I want to go through practice st stage by stage here because you guys build throughout practice some slow periods, some fast periods. When you come out for walkthroughs and warm-ups, what's your mindset as you approach a day of practice? Well, um, first and foremost, when you're walking through, it's all mental. You're getting all the mental reps, you know, you're taking all the physical out of it. So just conditioning your brain, you know what I'm saying, to to get you ready for when you're going full speed. So that's what the game of football is. It's, it's, I say it's about 80% mental and 20% physical because if you don't have it mental, mentally, then, then you, you, don't have, you don't have anything. It's just like a human without a brain. So. Nice. Very veteran-like for you. So you warm up, you, then you get through some of the special team start to get the blood flowing. Uh, how important is that for you? As a second-year linebacker, you know that's a, that's a way to make an impact and, and build your name in the game. Oh, man, special teams, you know, um, with Coach Swinton, he's another guy who's from my area. You know, um, I take pride in it. You know, I've never done it up until I got to the league last year. And it's another way, you know, to get my name out there and to, and to let guys know who I am and, and to make an impact, you know, to make the team better, try to, you know, be a vocal leader on special teams, and then eventually as my career, goes on you know to be that voice on the defense so it all helps and, and plays within each other and then of course you move on to one-on-one -on -one matchups and that's fun because you get the, the competitive juices flowing man versus man so what's that like for you and what do you get out of those one-on-one -on -one drills going against the best every day um, Joe Staley and then a veteran is in on uh, Eric Paris so you know two strong guys um, Joe's obviously one of the most athletic guys at his position you know and I feel like Everyone says it, but to be the best, you gotta you gotta go up against the best. So I feel like each and every day I'm getting better work, and then having um, Andre with us. You know, he's one of the greats who had 80 sacks in his career, and then talking to guys like Charles Haley, it all you know goes hand in hand, and, and working against guys like Joe, man, it's it's amazing. You know, so, helps me a lot. So in this game, you're being more than just rushing the pass. You get to drop and do some athletic things. So how much do you look forward to seven on seven to, to cover some of the backs, the tight ends, and showcase that side of your game? I love it. You know, just showing how athletic I am. You know, hopefully I can get me a pick six this year. <laughs> That's my goal. I never had one. But, um, you know, with, with Coach O'Neill's scheme, man, I feel like it's great for me, um, helping me, you know, do different things from my hand in the dirt, dropping all the way into the post, covering the flat, lining up over a guard center, doing the exotic stuff, man, it's, it's so cool, you know, because growing up watching guys on TV, you I always want to, you know, be in like Jason Taylor, Julius Peppers, all those guys, man, doing all the exotic stuff. So I'm excited, man. Yeah, no, it's fun watching the, your development. And then the teach periods are fun, too, because that's something we don't normally see in football. You guys go so fast, then you slow it down and correct the mistakes that you had instantaneously right in practice. What's that like for you? I mean, it, you know, it gets the heart rate going, you know, after the heart rate's going, it slows you up. And like I said, you get the mental reps again. And it all, all it does is gears you for the next period. So I feel like everything we do, you know, correlates and goes hand in hand for what we got to do the next step. You know what I'm saying? So it all helps, man. And it's, I feel like it's very important, you know, to speed it up and then slow it back down to speed it up again. And then lastly, the team periods, that's probably the, the highlights of practice for us, at least. We get to write the most about those things. But for you, you're making plays. Uh, batted balls at the line of scrimmage this year, getting in the backfield, making some sacks and tackles for losses. Uh, what's been the, the favorite part of those team periods? Because obviously you're sort of a, a built up of all the things you do throughout the day to get ready for those periods. Being out there with Quentin Dow, Navarro Bowman, Eric Reed, Antoine Bethea, Ahmad Brooks, you know, having my chance to get reps with the ones, the guys who know the defense in and out, um, the guys who've been to Pro Bowls, the guys who've been on championships, championship teams, the guys who are the best at what they do, man. That's the most important thing. You know, Quentin Dow is like my big brother. And, you know, playing against him, playing beside him, you know, I feel like I feel comfortable that if I mess up, he's going to make me right. So, um, like I said, man, being with the guys who know the game the best, know the defense in and out, and, and just flying around, you know, with the guys who know what they're doing, you can actually, you know, go 100% all the time and go full speed knowing what you're doing. So. Busy days for you guys here, a lot of meetings and things to go over the rest of the day. So we'll let you get back to work, man. We appreciate your time. Thanks, Taylor, man. I appreciate it.